I was going through my ephemera and I found a little something left over from my collage class. Now, when I do collage workshops here in Los Angeles, I like to create packets for my participants of ephemera that I would use if I was creating a collage, hand it to them and see what they come up with. And it's always interesting. So here's a packet of ephemera with ideas that I wrote down for myself what I would do. And I honestly have no clue. I cannot remember what I put into these packets or what my ideas were. But what I'm going to try to do is construct a collage based on the notes that I made for the class and for the participant who was going to be getting this packet. Now, just to reiterate, I do not uh, practice a very uh, heavy hand in the workshops. I put the packets together with ephemera that I like, and I leave the participant to do whatever they want. But I always write something out to see what it is that I might come up with and maybe guide them or whatever the case may be. So here's a clean cut. Uh, she's probably a focal point. There's a lot of cool focal point stuff going on here. Uh, I'm not sure what I had in mind. That is really neat. But this is kind of cool going through because I totally forgot what it was I wanted to make. This was probably a background of some sort. Yeah, there's a lot of neat stuff and probably more than one collage because normally what I do is I put in enough ephemera for the participant to make easily one, two, three collages. So I'm going to figure out what it was I had in mind. Yeah, there's a lot of neat stuff. And I like the palette too. So let's go ahead and uh, start on, well, there's definitely two collages and here comes my cat. All right, so this was the idea that I had written down, which was to use this gal, make this her head and set her atop this burger and that looks kind of absurd and fun and okay all right definitely a minimal strange little minimal i also cut out this guy and i was going to put him next to her on the burger but this is where you run into too many focal points they're kind of the same size, so it it would work, but it's I think it's too busy. I'm not even sure I like the burger that much, but this was one of the collages that I had written down, had in mind. I even went ahead and cut out this little lion for her head instead of the coin for size purposes, and it looks okay. Um, not overly crazy about any of it. Maybe tucking this as a background would be kind of interesting. Well, the height is off and I'm not sure I like the way it looks. It's, um, it's not, it's kind of not working for me. And gee, I was going to tell one of my participants to do this. That kind of works, but it's, it's also to me a little bit of a yawn because I, I haven't really done much to change, to change it. Well, it is absurd. Let's face it. It's absurd. And it's cool. It works as a collage. It's definitely a minimal. Oh, that kind of looks interesting too. Okay, well, you know what? I'm going to set them off to the side. And I am actually going to work on the next one. And I'm going to read to you what my directions were. So here's the ephemera. Here's my focal point. And I wrote down model orange background. Is this the orange background? I got a big horse here. Uh, use geometric gold furniture, so here's the geometric gold furniture, I believe, as glasses. Okay, so I was going to use that for her glasses. That might be interesting. It's going to be, it's going to be interesting to cut out, that's for sure. Use the eggs as a background for the lips that are going to get cut out. Okay, maybe. Hmm. What am I thinking? And checkered design vintage man's hair head can be coming out of her forehead. Okay, I think I showed you oh, this guy coming out of her forehead. That's bizarre. That has like scary Man Ray Dolly type feelings to it. And then I said something about uh, the Prada purse can 
be the background. It says Prada here, so this must have been a purse. Okay, well, I guess that's what I had in mind. So the first challenge is her glasses, and I'm really not sure what was I thinking with this. So should I just cut this out? I guess I should just cut this out following my own directions. Mm -hmm. I vaguely remember making these directions for this particular packet. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and do that. I am going to go ahead, cut this out, and see if I can give her a new pair of glasses. This is what happens when I don't follow my own directions, which read model with the orange background. Well, I was looking at that one girl that was cutting up here and I was cutting her up and enjoying everything. And I never looked along on the back. And here was the model with the orange background. That was what I meant. Um, I flipped it around while I was working and I saw these lips. I'm like, uh oh, that was the model I was supposed to be working with. So I didn't follow my own directions. This is what happens when I don't read things thoroughly and everything changed. And I think it's a minimal and I'm going to call it done. And I think I want to call it normal development. So I am going to go ahead and scan this into Photoshop, this cool looking background, and scan her. And I took some liberties with her with her head and her face. I actually think, oddly enough, I'm thinking that this model is this model. <laughs> I think because the uh, lips actually look very, very similar. So I'm going to play with this in Photoshop a little bit. I will uh, do a close up so you guys can take a better look at it. And I need to follow my own directions next time, don't you think? So this was fun. It's a cute little exercise. I uh, might work on something a little bit bigger today. Uh, feels like a warm-up to me. Minimals are good for that. Had no idea this was going to be a minimal. And I obviously deviated completely from what I wanted to do originally with this burger. I guess I could still do the burger, but I think it's too much. I mean, in a way, it that does kind of work. I don't like this wrapper. You know what? Let me take this out. Not all of it. I'll keep some of that edge. I think it might be too much because I do like this background. This makes it more minimal and I think the burger makes it too noisy. I think we'll just keep it like this. Yeah. I think this is fine. Nice and neat and simple. We'll call it done. I'll do something else later. So Thanks for hanging out with me for this uh, little tutorial collage venture we have here, and I will see you in the next video.